Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, the Vatican News. When my mom came over here to visit me, she was telling me about some weird, crazy news that the Vatican was going to start implementing a global education. Now this education is called the Global Compact on Education. This event to for all nations to agree and, and you know, to participate was moved to October so it was going to be done in June or, or this May but they ended up moving it because of the COVID-19 so I'm going to go ahead and read what they want and what their what their message is but I'm going to tell you behind the curtains what their actual mess what their actual um actions intentions are so the Congregation for Catholic Education announces that the Global Compact on Education will take place from 11-18 October 2020. The event had originally been scheduled for May 2020. The Global Compact on Education, an event promoted by Pope Francis to revive commitment to and with the younger generations, has been postponed from 10-17 May to 11-18 October 2020. The decision to reschedule the event was taken in light of the uncertainty linked to the spread of coronavirus, along with the decisions taken by public authorities on a global scale, according to a press release from the Congregation for Catholic Education, which has been entrusted with, with task of organizing the event. The Global Pact is not limited to educational and academic institutions, but rather in the belief that commitment to education must be shared by all. It involves representatives of religions, international bodies, and the various humanitarian institutions of the academic, economic, or political and cultural world, the congregation said. From this perspective, the statement continues, it can be understood that the broader and more varied participation desired by Pope Francis is not an additional dimension to the Global Compact on Education, but rather constitu constitutes at the same time the premise and purpose of such an alliance. This article was uh, made on the 3rd of March, 2020. See, when my mom told me about this news, she told me in a different way. She said that this will be used to implement um, hidden signs, like symbolism. There you go. It's going to be implemented to to teach symbolism and other things going to be added. It won't just be like your average math, English, and, you know, your 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 course of studies. They're, gonna, they're thinking about adding. They're thinking about adding things to the education process. And this goes from um, from young, young, young kindergartners to high schoolers. You know what I mean? Like, this is a global effort to teach the same thing all around the world. Now, I hope it, I hope it might, I hope it is the, the good intention of actually getting governments to put in money to the education system. Because we've let our, our young minds, you know, We've let it, we've we've abandoned them. We don't take care of our, our students. We don't take care of um, debt. You know, we we just we just don't care about education. We care about more about military than education. You know, poverty is a big problem too all over the world. But with education, poverty can be avoided. So this news was kind of troubling to me because my mom was t was telling me that this this um this is a global education. You know, this is uh, the whole world. Countries that agree to this will have the same education to all other countries that agreed. So it's pretty, it's pretty, um, it's pretty weird how every country is going to have the same education system only because of the things that are going to be added, which they're not showing it. They're not showing what's going to be added. So I am going to try to look for it, but I wanted to show you guys and share this with you because um, uh, the Vatican, I don't trust the Vatican. You know, like I really don't trust the Vatican. I feel like they should be helping way more than they should have in this COVID-19. They're very, very wealthy, and they should be spreading more, um, more help around the world. But the Vatican doesn't do that. I mean... 
I just have a bad feeling about the the global compact on education. Uh, but that's enough about me talking about this. Just wanted to give a heads up on this. If you guys want to search it up on your, on your own time, and let me know in the comment section what you think about this. There could be more spoken on this, cause there is a lot. But for now, I'm just gonna stick to the facts and what I've told, what I've learned from my mom about this. I didn't even know about this till she told me about this. So it's just crazy. It's crazy how they want to implement a worldwide education system, and in the midst of this education system, involves symbolism. Apart from symbolism, involve teachings that are not right, that they don't have morals. You know, maybe they can be taught something like Scientology or something like that. You know, let us first get our faith. Let us first understand um, faith, religion, because Scientology, you know, even even church, even the church um, investigates in this Scientology uh, once in a while. They they collaborate with scientists and all that, but to a certain extent. But that's about that's enough about me. I just want to share this in just this single video. I didn't want to you know make it a, a big episode, but yeah. All right, catch you guys later. The Vatican News. <clears throat>